Cowboy Nation is a bit sensitive. I don't blame y'all, by the way. If I've been out of the playoffs for the last three years, I'd be sensitive too. But here's the reality, okay? <laughs> Let's put it out there. The Dallas Cowboys, if you look at their roster, mm-hmm. they've been loaded all of these years. Oh, okay. They always have the talent to make the postseason. Whether it's drafting, whether it's free agency with Claiborne last year, yep. whatever the case may be. I agree. You know, they always, or Carr rather, and then Claiborne had drafted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the fact of the matter is you're always loaded. You got DeMarcus Weir. You got Tony Romo. Okay. You got Des Bryant. Jason Witten. You know, he's another one. With, he sprinkles on you and you two shall be healed. He can do nothing wrong. You got him collaborating with Jason Garrett to get rid of T.O. They ain't won anything since. You got all of that stuff going on. Okay. But. <laughs> Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Dallas, despite always being loaded, what comes with it is expectations and expectations they almost never meet. You understand 17 years, two playoff appearances, eight years as a starting quarterback, Tony Romo, one playoff victory. You talking to me about Dallas? I'm sorry. It wouldn't surprise me at all if this kid was a stud. It wouldn't surprise me at all if he ended up being a starter. It wouldn't have surprised me at all if he was plugging holes for their running backs, okay? Yep. And it still won't matter. They are an accident that has happened over and over and over again. They will find a way to mess it up. Now, this year might be a tad touch Because Tony Romo's a mi- involved a miracle, a miracle. He's will, coming to work. That's right. A miracle will happen. <laughs> a, mi- a miracle will happen, yeah, Skip. Yeah, he's being paid. They might. They might they a might. lot of money hey, to Skip, come to work. Hey, Skip, did you hear the news? Hey, we don't know about the Giants. We don't know what's going to happen with Victor Cruz. Mm. We know the Redskins are coming. We don't know how healthy RG3 mm. is going to be. Right. Chip Kelly's in Philadelphia. We don't know what that's going to mean for Michael Vick or Matt Barkley. But we know about the Cowboys, don't we? See, they'll pro- they might even shock us, Skip, and make the playoffs. Will it really matter? They'll find a way, because they always do, yep. to mess it up. That's who they are. Mm-hmm. As an organization, the players as individuals are studs. But as an organization, as a collective unit, they will find a way to mess I it up. I want it all. I know what it takes to get the best. And I want people who can deliver it. I've tasted greatness. And I'm hungry for it again. Mm. Jerry, wake up. You're dreaming again. Yeah. So if Travis Frederick jumps right into the starting lineup and for the next 10 years he becomes a perennial Pro Bowl center, wouldn't we have to give it up to Jerry and say he knew exactly what he was doing and nobody else got it except Jerry Jones? What are the odds? That, no, no, what no, are no, the no. odds? No, see, once you're again, missing, you're you. missing yeah. the point. The fact that you can sit there and elocute for us how Jerry Jones would look like a genius if this worked shows that it's not going to work because that's what Jerry Jones is after instead of winning football games. That's the problem. That's the problem. If you sat up there and you just made a conventional pick that we could lean on and said it makes sense. Oh, that's easy. Jerry Jones doesn't feel enough credit for that. But if he looks like the brilliant one and gets something that no one else saw, you see, I have educated you all. I've shown you that I know something that you don't. What if this is did? a problem? Hey, listen, what I'm saying to you is this. You've got a plenty of players on the Dallas Cowboys that he could make that argument for. Right. Where did it get them? In the end, the objective's got to be you know, pursuing a Super Bowl championship. It can't be about you. It's about him. Well, it's and about as drafting result, good football It's players. about him, and as a result, it's about the hype machine that is the Dallas Cowboys. And guess what, Skip? They've regressed to being nothing but hype. That's what they are. You're America's team, and you haven't even had the decency to play in the January. <laughs> are you kidding me? They are pathetic. Pathetic. You Dallas got. So let me tell you something. Mean. And by the way, Des, Des, Des Bryant sitting there running around talking. I will come to Big D with cameras to sit down and interview that brother. You sit will. in front of me and defend the Dallas Cowboys and what they are and what they represent. I will walk into that locker room and challenge any member of that team to defend who and what they have been over the course of the last decade plus. They haven't been. They've been a shell of themselves, okay. a shell of themselves. It's a shame that they get that they get this hype and they haven't done anything. Okay, fair enough.